Good morning, friends. I hope you're well and I hope your writing practice is going well. Mine is too. It's always a relief, somehow, because, you know, there's always that worry. But by doing this daily practice of flow writing, we know that we can keep ourselves in training. And the trick is not to stop. Just like when you actually put your pen to the paper or your fingers on the keyboard, not stopping. Something interesting, I was talking to a friend in New Zealand yesterday and she said, you know what, Kath, there is more to this world than this world. That really got me thinking. And I thought, what a good prompt for a piece of writing that while I'm looking at something, there's so much more going on than what meets the eyes. Not everything is as it seems. And so I thought, gosh, that would, if I cut it in half, there's more to this world than dot, dot, dot. I could really explore that, couldn't I? Because we hang on so much to things of the world and we just sort of look at the first glance. But here's the thing, as writers, I think it's our sacred duty. If we've been given this gift to write, I think we should be able to look deeper into things, look deeper into emotions or a tree or a flowering shrub. Where did that all come from? How did it all come to being? How could a mighty oak come from that tiny little acorn and then do what an oak does every year like clockwork so yes people look at it and yes so do we we look at trees we look at flowers we look at things that happen but again i think the beauty is to go deeper so have a thought about that that's what kayla had to say there's more to this world, there's more to this world than this world. Cut that in half, just see where it takes you today, tomorrow, and let me know. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.